Anyway, that's her name. I'm already a proud grandpa of one. You see him laughing at the end of each episode. Uh, he knows that winter is on her way, but I don't think he quite understands the change that he's in for. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a change. I remember our son was four when our daughter was, was born, and uh, they got along great, though. He was such a good big brother, and they're still really close now, so it's nice. Um, I've always been thankful that we had... Uh, two kids so that they could support each other. And, and uh, even though he was out of high school and she was a freshman, he still knew which, which guys were okay for her to, what they call it, talk to. They're, they're talking. They're not going out. They're not going together. She always thought that was funny. They're talking to each other, whatever that means. And at some point, I guess whenever you get together, you stop talking. I mean, <laughs> is that the way it goes? I don't know. But in addition to the classes, we're still going to do these, uh, our normal human coefficient channels where we talk about news and the latest AI ad, uh, advancements. And so getting to that, uh, Forbes reported on a story that's uh, pretty fascinating. It's called Gibberlink Mode. Did you see this? Uh, AI agents, there was, they had, uh, uh, they had like uh, chat GPT maybe. I, I don't remember. I just watched this two days ago. I'm in, I'm on grandpa mode today, but, uh, on the screen and then they had another AI agent on the phone and they were talking back and forth and they discovered that they were both AI agents. And so one of them said, Hey, do you want to talk in Gibberlink so that we can get more stuff done? And so the other one was like, sure. And uh, they're running 80% faster than before. Um, you know, that sounds a little bit unsettling, I guess, but you know, a bunch of beeps and, and, uh, and you know, the, the old internet sounds and beeps and stuff. And you want, if you want to look at it, it's pretty cool. Uh, just just uh, go on, you know, uh, ChatGPT or somewhere and search for a gib Gibberlink demo, and you'll find it on there. Um, and if your human coefficient assessment score is around a four, just think about what this kind of processing speed could help you accomplish, you know. I guess maybe R2-D2 was onto something uh a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away with the way he talks. Next up, Steve Smith, the former head of AI at Meta, who's now running his own AI consulting firm, released something pretty cool also this week. He dropped a comprehensive guide um, to mastering LLL prompting. In other words, knowing how to ask your question to an LLM. Uh, 